Hi, welcome to another episode of Fly or Die. I'm John Biggs. And I'm Jordan Crook. And today we're talking about the sets from 3D Systems. This is the 3D Systems Sense. It's a $400 3D scanner, handheld. So what is handheld it? Handheld style. It's basically a Kinect. So you have here, you have a uh, IR light coming out of here, you have two cameras, and it sends a point cloud out onto objects around you. So the best way to do this, I could show you this. But you can to, put this on a tripod, right? You can put it on a tripod, you put somebody in a chair and you spin them, and you can do a 360 degree scan of somebody's head, for example. Or you, or could, you actually, could just like scan someone down, right? But that would scan, be difficult. But this, as you're scanning, you have to keep to the stay. head into a certain, in a certain area. And if you move out, it doesn't know what it's looking at, and it kind of screws up. So, and if you move while the scan happens, then you have like two noses and other stuff. Which is awesome. You, uh, quality-wise, like, wh who do you recommend this for? Is you're just like into 3D printing, then maybe you want to do this, for but not if you're serious. If you're, if you're serious about making 3D models of stuff, like making copies of things, this is not this is not for you. Okay. The digitizer is actually better for this. From MakerBot. Of, yeah, from MakerBot in terms of producing copies of objects. This is fun for just having it around the house. So you just so like, you can scan, scan somebody's someone's head. head right. You can scan the dog. You can scan, I don't know, something that's attached, that's on a table that you can put on a turntable and scan that way. So you'd call this more of a toy than a tool for a 3D a, printer This is an experimental enthusiast. 3D scanner. Okay. And you can make these yourself. This is just a, basically a connect inside here. That's, it's not doing anything special. But for $3.99 and software that works on Windows 7 and Windows 8, it doesn't work on OS X right now, which is oh. problematic. Wow. Um, the software is really easy to use. You scan something in, you cut out the pieces that you don't want, and it's just there. And, cool. it's, and you have a 3D scan. I've been able to print some actually really nice, high quality little objects, little people's busts, little heads, and different things. And it works fine. For 3 dollars if you want to experiment with this, it's actually a, a great way to get into 3D scanning without having to spend a lot of money or have to be a tinkerer. Okay, fair so. enough. So you're going to give it a fly, it sounds like. I'll give it a fly if you are an experimentalist, if you're a tinkerer, if you want to have fun with this sort of thing. It's kind of a die if you're really looking to scan something important. Like if you're, if you think you want to recreate a, a uh, I don't know, a statue or something like that. It's not going to work as well. I'm going to give it a die because not because I don't think it's a great product. I think eventually, like these scanners are going to become a really big thing and it's going to be a big deal and the price will come down and something handheld will kind of emerge as, as something really powerful. The reason I'm giving it a die is because even as an experimental kind of toy, we tried to do my head like six times out there and we really couldn't get it right. So like, it, it doesn't it's seem like it's yeah. It's very finicky. It's not right on point even for a toy. Um, but maybe you know maybe the next generation sense is is what I'm waiting for. All we'll right. See. So there you have it. This is the Sense from 3D Systems, $400, one fly, one die. I'm John Biggs. I'm Jordan Crook. And thanks for watching.